So one of the biggest questions that jailbreak players have nowadays is which vehicle is better, the Roadster or the Chiron? And today we're going to be comparing both of these vehicles and we're going to see which one is truly better. So how we're going to do this is we're going to look at all the perks of each vehicle and then we're going to look at the downsides of each vehicle and then we're going to compare both of those and see which ones are better. So let's not waste any more time and let's get into this. So let's start off with the perks of each vehicle starting with the Chiron. So the Chiron here is the fastest obtainable vehicle in the entire game going at 270 miles per hour and it also has a really really good acceleration. The Chiron also has an amazing reverse speed with amazing off-roading as well and the customization on the vehicle is also very very nice and with all of that it only costs $500,000 which isn't much. Now this last one could be a perk or downside depending on what you prefer but it does look like a vehicle straight from 2019 but with an interior. So if you really really like the style of older vehicles and you also want an interior on it the Chiron is probably for you but now let's move on to the other vehicles perks the Roadster so one of the first perks of the Roadster here is it's one of the fastest vehicles in terms of acceleration which means it accelerates really really quickly compared to other vehicles and I actually think it's the second or third fastest vehicle in terms of acceleration which is really really good the second perk on the Roadster is the interior is very very nice as you guys can see it looks absolutely amazing and you got to keep in mind the Roadster was revamped all the way back at the start of 2021 and and for being that old, it looks very, very nice. And the third perk on the Roadster here is it has really, really good customization, just like the Chiron. You could do a lot with your vehicle, make it look really, really nice. Now, here's the big perk that makes the Roadster very, very nice for me. And it is that it handles very, very nicely at both high and low speeds. No matter how fast you're going, the Roadster is extremely easy to control. And honestly, that's what I really like about the Roadster. That's probably the main thing about the Roadster that I enjoy it's that it's really easy to control and it's just really really cool because literally no other vehicle in the game handles as well as the roadster at high speeds it's just extremely useful but the last perk here on the roadster is that it's very very useful for the cop team the roadster's acceleration really it's really helpful for the police team I have a video coming up this Friday that'll explain that a little bit more, but it's really, really helpful for the police team. The acceleration saved me a lot and overall really, really useful. But now let's talk about both of these vehicles downsides. What's bad about the vehicles? So starting off with the Chiron's downsides here is it's really, really hard to control at high speeds. Right as you pass that 170, 78 mile per hour mark, it's just really, really hard to control in my opinion, and it's kind of stiff. And now the second downside to the Chiron is the interior literally, it, it literally sucks. It's horrible compared to the interiors we have now, and it definitely needs a revamp. It's way out of date, and it, it, it just sucks. It was good when the vehicle came out because it was the first vehicle with an interior, but you know, now that it's 2023, it just does not look good anymore. And now the third downside on the Chiron is that lots of people say it shakes around at high speeds. Personally, I haven't experienced that but lots of people say it does once again it's never happened to me i'm not sure if that's actually a thing but you know if you want to believe it you could go ahead and believe it but i'm not sure but now those are all of the downsides for the Chiron. let's go over to the roadster so the first downside of the roadster is that it costs one hundred thousand dollars more to the Chiron, but it's much much slower obviously the acceleration does kind of make up for it so that's a thing but you know if you're going for top speed over acceleration roadster is not for you now the second and third downsides kind of relate to each other but the off-roading and the reverse speed on the roadster is absolute dog water and it's just garbage the roadster easily flips out on just train tracks and it's just really really hard to deal with and then if you're trying to reverse out of a situation you know the reverse speed is very very slow compared to the chiron and it's just not really that good for easily quickly turning around you know so if you're going for top speed over acceleration like i said definitely go for the chiron because the roadster is more on acceleration than top speed so it all kind of depends on what you're looking for if you're going for top speed definitely get the Chiron like I said if you're going for acceleration go for the roadster but it's just what you're looking for personally I like the Chiron more because I'm kind of a top speed guy but obviously you could have your own opinion feel free to share them down below if you want to take a look at all of the perks and the downsides of each vehicles I'm gonna put a screenshot of them on the screen so if you want to look at all of them there you go but yeah other than that that's pretty much it 
It all just depends on what you're looking for, what you need, which type of player you are, and using the info I just gave you guys, you could decide which vehicle is for you. Obviously, if you have the money, you could just buy both of the vehicles and compare them for yourself, and then if you want to, you could leave a comment down below, and you could guide the new players and tell them which one you think is better. But yeah, anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.